do you need to know what to get money smart people in your life? Who better to go to for this but me? I recently launched a 2021 frugal gift guide, a gift suggestions for all the people in your life who you either already know are money smart or who you know want to get money smart. And it was suggested several times that I make it into a video. So we're going to go through it here today. And if you want to check it out, it is on budgetgirl.com uh, with all of the links and everything. And I will have that linked below. If you don't know me, I am Sarah, also known as Budget Girl here on the internet. And I have been a bit of a frugalista for seven plus years now and documented my entire money journey going from 33K in debt to owning multiple real estate properties here and investing and being in a much better financial place in my life. So I have walked the walk and I am talking the talk. So here is everything that I would get for your loved ones in your life. So let's do it because everyone wants to be the person that gives like the perfect gift, right? I can't be alone in this. Um, that practical, perfect, life improving thing that the recipient uses all the time. I love being the person that gives the perfect gifts. So let's go. So first up, if there's someone in your life who is like an excited frugal newbie, this is a gift for people who are trying to get into the money basics, maybe a recent college grad or somebody who's changing jobs who maybe you've had a discussion with about money because they, they know you and they know that you are good with money. Here are some suggestions for them. First, a budget. Now, I highly recommend that you use whatever type of budget works for you and your brain, but if I'm being honest, I personally love my budgeting spreadsheet that I sell. <laughs> And perhaps the person who uh, you might want to give this to would love it as well. It has, um, I've sold over 3,000 of these and given away thousands and thousands more and people absolutely love them. If you think this person might like a spreadsheet budget or a net worth tracker to help them on their money journey, these are less than $10 and they are giftable. So absolutely give those a shot if you would like. I also have printable money and savings trackers. So if you know somebody is saving up for like a car or vacation or something, you can give them this and they could print it out and uh, use it to track their savings or their debt payoff. You can shop my full Etsy shop at the link down below and it supports me and my channel. Next gift suggestion for the newbie is cash envelopes, specifically pretty cash envelopes. I will have the ones that I found uh, that are really gorgeous link below. Some people are cash people and they need to um, the best way for them to master their money is to divide their money into cash envelopes and they use that money and then when the envelope's empty, they don't spend any more in that category. That works for some people. It's never particularly worked for me, but some people swear by cash envelopes and you could get someone some really gorgeous ones here. Next gift suggestion. If you have a big old budget, you could gift a full or partial emergency fund to someone. This would be great for a college grad who's just kind of getting out into the world or somebody who is just getting into the whole money management thing. I'm sure that a cash gift towards their emergency fund or maybe even a payment towards their debt would be highly appreciated. Next, you could also gift a stock or a stock gift certificate. Um, there's a company called Stockpile, which I'm not affiliated with, that you can gift someone, you know, uh, an X amount of money in an Apple stock or a blah, blah, blah stock, or just a gift certificate where they could go and pick their own stock. This would be excellent for someone who really wants to start investing and doesn't necessarily know how. And while it's not necessarily exactly what I usually recommend, I'm more of an index funds kind of girl, it, it could definitely be appreciated by someone who just wants to get into investing or maybe even pique their interest in it. Next, you could gift a money coaching session or a session with a financial advisor. I offer a little bit of money coaching services um, on my website and I'll have that link below, but this could give them a hand as they build their financial life. Next, you could also gift them some Budget Girl Money merch. I don't really advertise this a lot on my channel because it's really just meant to be fun, but I have seven designs, including Future Millionaire, maybe spreadsheets will help, a anti-pyramid scheme design, and of course girls just want to have funds. And those are available in stickers and mugs and t-shirts and sweatshirts. And they're just kind of a fun money gift for people who are in the space and in the know. The next person I have gift recommendations for is the kind of bougie frugalista. This is the lady or man in your life who is always stylish, is always 
fashionable and kind of has, looks like they have their ish together. Um, however, they might be trying to save up for something important or cut back on their discretionary spending just a little bit. And so these gifts would be perfect for them. First is a gift card to a local salon for a haircut or a mani or a pedicure. Bonus if you make it an activity that you can do together. So then it's like bonding fun time. And personally, I can't imagine anything more fun than one of my friends being like, hey, I bought us pedicures for your gift. Let's go. And then it'll be a whole fun like afternoon or Saturday together. Next, uh, a little cheaper is a Starbucks gift card. This way they can get their Java buzz with no guilt whatsoever and it doesn't come out of their budget. For the woman who always has her nails on fleek but might need to cut back on her nail budget a little bit, and this isn't a judgy thing, but I think anyone who regularly gets their nails done, mine have not been done in forever because I've been renovating a camper and there's just no point in doing anything to your nails while you're renovating anything because they're just going to constantly be covered in paint. But there's no reason that your fabulous friend can't look good on a budget by gifting something that your friend could use to save just a little bit of money from a couple trips to the salon. She can potentially learn a new skill and also divert some of her spending elsewhere. Also, it's really fun to like learn to do your own nails at home. So for that, I have a gel manicure kit, which is only $22 and a DIY dip powder manicure kit, which is only $29. And those will be linked below. Super fun. I have the gel manicure kit and I've actually done some like pretty cute nails on myself before without the salon prices. <laughs> also for the fashionista with big old money goals I actually found some really really cute money themed purses and I'll have those up on the screen now but these three bags are less than $25 each and they're they're for the lady who has her money in the bag and the bank and isn't afraid to show it. I think these are really cute. I have the pink one and it's really, really fun to bust out every once in a while for a special occasion. Uh, if you have someone in your life who would appreciate these, I feel like you will immediately be like, ooh, X would wear those. And this would be an excellent gift for her because she probably wouldn't buy it for herself. And finally, um, I would highly recommend that you give your fashionable friend a thread up gift card so that she can fill a wardrobe hole or add a new piece at a discounted price. And you can buy these in any denomination. Next up for the coffee lover in your life. So for your caffeine addicted loved ones, here are some gift recommendations. An espresso machine. I'll have one link below that is, I've used an espresso machine for years. They're fantastic and they're zero waste, which is really cool. You don't need filters, you don't need pods, and it gives a really, really nice brew. I've been able to find these for like under $10 at thrift stores dozens of times, but this one on Amazon is only 30 bucks and I guarantee you they will love it if they want to upgrade their coffee game. You can also buy a cold brew coffee maker. This $22 one is fantastic. Every single one of my friends has this. You just dump the coffee into this little strainer that's so easy to clean, stick it in with the water, stick it in your fridge, and then it's just let it go overnight. I usually take the interior out and shake out the coffee and then I add my creamer and I've just got my cold brew just waiting. It's fantastic. Every single one of my friends owns these. Next up, you can go a little bit bougie or a little bit basic, but a milk frother can really up their coffee game if they don't already have one. I will link some options below. And finally, if they're a Keurig person, and I'm not judging that because my office has a Keurig and I love free coffee more than anything else, um, you can get them a sampler pack of different coffees and they have these in Keurig or in brew and it's a little 12 pack. I've got two different ones, holiday and regular, and it's 12 different flavors so that they can try out a bunch of different blends. How much fun is that? It's 20 bucks. What a cool gift for the coffee lover in your life. Next, for the hard to buy person who values experiences over things. So this person has decluttered, they've Marie condoed, they don't want a mug, they don't want a bath set, they're really hard to buy for. Here are some gifts for them. First, a family membership or personal membership to the local zoo, aquarium, insert local fun thing here. Jacob and I love to go to the aquarium. We won a one year membership to one in Austin once and we went so many times. It was awesome. It was a really interactive one. You could also buy them a national parks pass if they're an outdoorsy person. These are $80 and that's actually the type of gift that keeps giving because if one person in a car has a national parks pass, the entire car can get into the national park. So they could then use your gift to 
continue to give and to bring other people into national parks with them. And I just think it's a wonderful gift that keeps on giving. Finally, you could also give them an Airbnb gift card so that they could put that towards their next stay or adventure. Personally, I have quite a long list of types of places I would like to stay in Airbnbs and that would be really cool. <laughs> All right, next up, for the friend that wants to master their grocery budget. So for people who want to elevate their cooking, improve their grocery budget, or cut down on eating out, the following items will help them master their kitchen skills. Uh, first, a crock pot or an instant pot, 45 to $90. That can help them if they're really busy and on the go, they can prep stuff ahead of time. If they don't already have one of these, it's awesome. For the Instapot newbie, which I still qualify for because I almost never use mine. I love my crock pot though and my air fryer. Ooh, I love my air fryer. Um, there are these cheat sheet magnets that help you remember how much each type of vegetable or meat cooks for in there, which I think would be a really cute little stocking stuff of a gift or a gift for somebody who you know has an Instant Pot that could help encourage them to use it more. Next, um, some meal planning boards to keep everybody on track. These are less than $10 and they can be really cute and helpful. Next, uh, meal prepping containers, 12 bucks, lightweight, reusable, super helpful. Everybody needs to like throw out their old Tupperware every once in a while and get some new stuff in, would be highly appreciated. Next, a chef's knife, can't tell you how much. If you're a newer cook or you're trying to up your game, having like a really good chef's knife, game changer. You can get them for under $25. This one is really highly rated. It's the only knife you need really. You could get them a cute lunchbox. So this is highly personal kind of preference. So make sure you know them really well or an air fryer, a rice cooker, or a food chopper, all items that will help you speed things up in the kitchen. And finally, a really surprisingly versatile thing that I think a lot of people don't own, but once they have one end up using all the time, this is the case for me, is a Dutch oven. So this white one from Amazon is amazing. It's less than $50. You can cook anything in it. You can cook steaks, burgers, soups, such an incredible tool. And the white will match any kitchen. All right, next, for the personal finance master who already has everything they want. So this person has their shoes together. They want for nothing. So here are some gifts for the person in your life who it's really hard to buy for, but you want them to be wowed. First, gold in a Canadian vault. <laughs> <laughs> There's this company called Vaulted and they're a gold investing company that allows you to invest in precious metals in any denomination and without having to actually hold the physical product. I don't own any gold because I'm a little bit afraid I'm going to lose it, but I really like the idea of having gold that is mine in a Canadian vault that is conflict free, free that is guaranteed against theft or damage and you can actually order like the bar of gold if you buy the entire thing you can have it delivered to you but in the meantime you can just have it in the vault and track how much it's worth on the app so it's it's a really cool thing you can buy a gift card in any denomination and I think it would be a really wow gift for somebody who you want to show that like hey I'm, I want to help you diversify and here's some gold it's not it's real gold it's not virtual it's real gold in a bank they just virtually own it, kind of like a stock, but for gold. <laughs> Next, a one terabyte or larger or larger storage hard drive. Um, this portable hard drive is really, really great. Redundant storage, everybody needs it. Old drives fail. Um, and that peace of mind can't really be bought otherwise. So I don't know anyone who has their shiz together that wouldn't be like, ooh, hard drive. Maybe I'm insane or I only know insane people, but still. There's probably someone like me in your life. <laughs> and next, this one's a little bit more fun. This is a hidden wall clock safe. Um, it is less than $20. It comes in a bunch of different styles and it looks like just a normal clock that you'd put on your wall, but just for your friend and you, they can open it up and put like their valuables inside and kind of feel like a secret agent and protect some of their like tchotchkes and trinkets or something. And I just think it would be a really great gift for someone who already has everything because I can almost guarantee they don't already have this. <laughs> and now the frugal gift guide for kids and teens. Let's go. So for the kid who will be a millionaire one day, you just know it. Let's get them started off right. I have a whole bunch of recommendations for them. First, customizable money jar decals 
for DIY banks. You could put these on like mason jars or any other kind of container and help them learn to like give, save, invest, etc. Um, you can also, I've got a bunch of different types of piggy banks up here. They're the kind that um, you can separate. There are some that are um, in the letter of their name where they can watch their savings grow. I do think for kids, it's really important that they be able to see their money or else it's gonna kind of separate themselves from it. Um, so I've got the counting ones in a couple of different colors and just a whole bunch of options. And all of those will be linked in the blog post. You could also get them a savings bond, which is essentially a loan to the United States government that can be redeemed after a year, but they earn interest up to 30 years. So it's essentially money for their future that they can't spend yet. And uh, yeah, I know, I know a lot of adults who kind of cashed in their savings bonds after college as they were buying like their first cars and their first furnishing their first homes. And it's, definitely a gift that will keep you in their memory because they're just going to be waiting to cash that. <laughs> Next, this is a game called Money Bags, which is from learning resources and it helps kids develop math skills, money recognition, and count, and it includes play money, and it helps them kind of learn the concepts of money at a young age. It is super highly recommended and it's $20. I also have some books that I believe would be excellent for kids. First is Alexander, who used to be rich last Sunday, which would be great for your super little kid learning about money. Same with Cur Curious George Saves His Pennies. Um, the Missing Money Money Monsters <laughs> looks really, really fun. And uh, Money Ninja, a children's book about saving, investing, and donating. So a nice, well-rounded money education there. Also have Investing for Kids and How to Turn $100 into a million dollars, which I wish I'd had that book as a little kid. That'd be cool. All of these are less than $12 and they're also Kindle versions available, paperback, hardback, etc. And they'll all be linked below. All right. Now for the green teen money machine. So for your teenagers who you're trying to instill a little bit of money accountability and learning about things, here are some gifts for them. First, once again, we're going with a stock gift card. I'm not suggesting that you encourage them to start day trading but this could get them interested in the space and with some actual skin in the game. So I remember in like fifth grade, they gave us like a hundred dollars of imaginary money and we were supposed to like buy stocks and track them in the newspaper every day. And I didn't really care because it wasn't real money. However, I think if you gave them a stock gift card, even for 25 bucks, told them to buy their favorite brands and got them to kind of watch what it does, it could really instill some reality of money into teenagers and get them interested in learning more about how to make money. So highly recommended. You could also gift a full share of stock with a frame certificate from give a share. I think that's probably a little old school, especially with the physical framed gift certificate of a stock. Um, I think teens might, most teens might be more interested in the app, but it's an option. And finally, some books for kids. Here are a couple that I highly recommend. So First to a Million by Dan Sheeks is coming out this month. And it is really, really cool. And not just because I'm featured in this book. It Dan is an incredible mentor who has helped so many high schoolers and college age students learn about money at a very young age. He uh, mentors these groups of young entrepreneurs and coaches them as they go through. I've actually had a chance to speak with uh, one of his groups one day. These kids are incredible. And he has this book, which just teaches you from like teenager dumb up through college on how to never be dependent on a nine to five job or anybody else for money. And I guarantee you, you get teens, these books, they read it. They're going to be millionaires faster than we are. <laughs> if you aren't already one. They um, highly recommend, I'll have it linked below. And next, the Motley Fool Investment Guide for Teens, Eight Steps to Having More Money Than Your Parents Ever Dreamed Of. Can you see like the, what we're going for with teens here, which I think is very smart. That would engage me as a teenager. I will also have that book linked below. Um, these books are less than $15 and have a huge impact on a teen that is in your life. All right, final category, stocking stuffers. I hope you stuck around. So let's do some cheap little stocking stuffers. Let's talk, say like under $12 that would help people in your life save money, which how fun is that? So reusable dryer sheets, um, a produce saver ball or drawer liners, a spatty beauty spatula, which helps you get everything out of there, a toothpaste squeezer dispenser, or some wool dryer balls, which I use all the time and they absolutely get my clothes dry faster. 
I would love to know what sort of money or finance related gifts you would like to add to this list or what the best money gift you've gotten is. If you want to see all the items on this list, go to budgetgirl.com, check it out. I would super appreciate it. And I also have some other articles on there that you might enjoy. How to save money on holiday dinners, where to find affordable holiday pajamas. I also have a free holiday budget planner and spending tracker just for you over there. Also a guide on how to get the free I bought a turkey dinner. So helpful. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season and keep coming back and subscribe for more frugality. I will see you guys next time. Bye.